I'm uh, Sean with mountainsandmemories.ca and this is my 2018 Colorado ZR2. Uh, we bought this new in uh, 2018 and we didn't start modding it until 2020. Kind of started COVID, we wanted to get out and explore and um, yeah, uh, where do I start? It's It takes us everywhere that we want to go. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Mike? We have uh, the Colorado on 37 inch tires. Uh, I would like to say we're first in North America to get 37 inch tires on a Colorado. It's, uh, it's allowed us to get everywhere that we wanted to get. And after we went to bigger tires, re-geared to 456s, then we needed some more power. And we have thrown a supercharger in this. We have the Edelbrock supercharger, 450 horsepower. And this thing has really kind of completed the rig. Having the power from the supercharger just makes everything flow, work great. We have everything we need for the power. Mods that we have under the hood, we have compressor, built-in compressor for four-way air up system here. I have a DC to DC Red Arc charger, which is taking care of our battery, which is installed down here. We have the S-Pod for all of our light management. And I've upgraded the battery, the stock battery to the diesel version. It's just a, a larger battery, right? You got a lot of things, light bars and winches. You need that extra power. We have the, uh, the Smittybilt X2O winch here in front and light bars down below, kind of bright up so we can see what's going on. Light bar up top, Baja design, uh, ditch light. So on this side here, we have a uh, quick pitch on suite. It's a great unit, shower unit that uh, we, uh, you know, on those long trips, you need something, right? You, you gotta clean yourself up a little bit. So this has been a new addition, but an awesome addition. We put it on our Prince U rack with uh, quick releases so we can just take this off when we don't need it. And when we're on longer trips, we pack it up. And we got a nice 270 awning on the back here. This is my diesel heater. For any of those people that know what a diesel heater is, this thing allows us to camp year round. Winter, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. We are camping because of that thing right there. That's the instant hot water that we have for the, uh, for the shower unit. Come on back around here. We got our kitchen set up. We built this kitchen slide last year. Get tired of pulling out everything in boxes, right? You know, you kind of start out and you're, you're, you're set up with boxes. Everything's just kind of stuffed in. Think, what was it? Our anniversary trip and we we're tripping over everything. And I said, when we come back, we're building this. So uh, yeah, home, home built box has everything we need. We got a fridge, we got a stove, we got storage, we got shelves. Yeah, and this is how we survive when we're out there. Tent, it's a great uh, nomadic tent. Served us quite well. These are definitely one of our favorite additions over the past like three months, are our stairs for our dog. Bundy, come here. Come on, come on up, come on, up, up. Good boy. Keep going. No, I'm gonna turn around and go down now. It's been amazing. Uh, this thing just takes us everywhere we want to go. And that is the whole point, right? You you make these trucks and you just get out and explore and love life, right? We've done a lot of suspension work to make the 37s work. So we have the coilover suspension in the front. I'm sitting at about inch and five eighths for a lift there. And then we have the Deaver suspension in the back. Uh, did a shock relocation, which moved the Chevy shocks to the outbound. Uh, that was an amazing mod as well. Really, if you know Chevys, you have these really annoying shocks that hang down below, and now we've moved them outbound, so it's amazing. Inside, I guess we got a lot going on in the inside just to kind of get us places, right? We have our S-Pod down there, all the light controls there. We run our navigation up here, Zolio, so we don't, you know, lose, lose contact with people. Dog is in the back. There isn't much back here other than uh, just where he hangs out, really. A lot of storage back there, because that's one thing, you can never have too much storage, right? Favorite mod for me is probably gonna be the supercharger. Uh, I really feel like, it was something we planned for a long time, but after doing the supercharger, it completed the truck. It had the power, it had the torque, it drives great, maybe too great sometimes. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite mods. How about you? Shock relocation. Shock relocation is my favorite. It was like one of the 
absolute worst things that I hated, I hate it all the time. And when you relocate it, you just stop worrying about it. Yeah. Cheap, easy, should have done it right away. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about it anymore. Yeah. For me, favorite trip was uh, after B Corps this year. We went down to the Sea to Sky Highway, did a real great loop through there, came up through uh, Linton, came back down into the Okanagan. We just we spent 10 days and just did this uh -oh, tour. giant tour and um, had no plans on where to stop. We just drove until we were tired and started looking for places. It was good, it was just us. And uh, sometimes, sometimes you, uh, you don't get out alone enough, right? You go yeah. out with friends and it's great, but a uh, little, little us time was good. Yeah. Enjoyed it. It was nice. Squamish was nice, that camp spot we found. Yep. Squamish, beautiful. My favorite one is the one that we did with Up North Expedition. Yep. Where we went to um, Farnham. And then another one that I'm not going to actually say the name of. Uh, and we went at an awkward time of year where everything was starting to just melt. It was a little late. And the trails were way harder than they should have been. Like, it's a totally different trail. And we worked with Jake on a stock gladiator to drag him in there. And it took us probably, I bet you it probably took us like seven or eight hours to do what should be like a three hour trail. And we worked so hard and we got to the end and there was a huge glacier slide and we were like, do we keep going? How close are we? We flew the drone and realized we were right there. And it was beautiful, it was breathtaking and we spent an extra day there and just hung out and made really good friends with Jake and Alex and it was it made me love it made me love overlanding I think that was a big part of that trip was um how we had to work so hard to get to the end right that's what yeah. makes it memorable it is was, that it was a hard you worked so work. hard and then you finally got to that epic vista and then I mean the party we had there was pretty great so it helped <laughs> out um the memories are always good with it but that's one of those unicorn trails that like when you start watching the the 410 expeditions and the overland albertas and start looking at the pictures on instagram that's one of the ones that you're like man i hope i can go there someday and to actually attain it and not only attain it but drive by four other places that you're like where does that go and then all of a sudden you're just down the rabbit hole yep. chasing trails Out and and epic mountain vistas and glacier locations and and since then we've gone on like over 200 more nights chasing yep. epic vistas and locations and the list just gets longer it never gets shorter that's why it's called mountains and memories guys yeah, <laughs> yeah right i got a lot of memories some of them are fuzzy but uh, it's still a memory it's still a memory they're there new tent yes we have we a new tent coming we are going to move to a hard shell tent and i think you know, we're at the point now where everything runs really good. Everything's performing well. Now it's refining things. And one of the things is packing up that soft shell tent is a bit of a pain. I gotta climb on top. I, you know, it, it takes more time than you really want to, right? So new hard shell from uh, Quick Pitch, it's, uh, it's gonna be amazing because it's gonna be up in five seconds, down mm -hmm. in five seconds. Everything's in it. You get all your bedding kept in it. So I think that'll be uh, that'll be a good new mod yeah. for sure. Uh, upgrade to the kitchen slide. Yes. Revision 2.0, where we learn from all of the mistakes of Revision 1. Yeah. Revision 1 was an upgrade from the toolbox that I used to keep my whole kitchen in, and now now we're just gonna make the slide work better. Yeah. Lighter, faster, stronger, all those fun things. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what else are we gonna do? That's that's where we're at so far. There'll be more. Probably. Yeah. You can find us on Instagram at Mountains of Memories. We also have the website, mountainsofmemories.ca, that has the whole build list on it. Yep. Uh, we do have the Facebook account. We're also really active in Overland Alberta and Calgary off-road experience. Facebook groups. Uh, yep. The Facebook groups. And then we are now starting to upload uh, to TikTok as well, because apparently TikTok's a thing. So yep. we're doing that too now. Really, you can find us and talk to us on any of those platforms. Reach yeah. out and we're always happy to answer questions and, yeah. and help somebody else enjoy their vehicle as much as we do, yeah. right? Yeah. And make fun of the Tacoma guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say, Bundy? Bundy. <laughs> Want a tree tree.